To truly appreciate and understand what Motive Base does, we actually need to take a step back and revisit the foundational field of structural anthropology upon which Motive Base is built. And to do that, I'm going to use a visual aid to illustrate to you exactly what structural anthropology is and what value it brings to us at, at Motive Base. Uh, fundamentally, what structural anthropology says is if we want to understand what something means to people, like the topic of gut health, we need to look at the language people use when they are talking about gut health, when they're trying to make sense of it, asking questions about it, trying to figure out what value it offers in their lives. We need to use, study the natural structure of language in the broader context of gut health in order to actually understand and decode what gut health really means to people. Why? Because a lot of meaning is actually implied, not expressed. It's implicit. So to truly understand what something means, we have to look at the broader structure of language. So the structure of language, in essence, allows us to decode the structure of the human mind. That's the foundational concept of structural anthropology. To explain that, I'm using a simple example that is on my screen here, where person A starts a conversation on a forum, and in this conversation, they directly link immunity to probiotics and to gut health and they're directly linking it because they're using all these topics in the same sentence now what ha happens here is when person number two responds to the first person they don't actually end up using the words gut health or probiotics or one of those synonyms they just end up talking about something that their daughter is struggling with specifically chronic conditions and the fact that it's related to toxins and diet and the environment and wellness and holistic same thing happens with person number three here who links wellness and stress again without using the words gut health or probiotics or one of the synonyms. So what's happening in the case of person number two and three is that they are speaking clearly in the context of gut health, but they're not directly linking these topics. They're indirectly linking these topics. This is what we call contextual relationships. And this is a critical part of understanding the meanings around gut health. So in essence, what our machine does is it doesn't ignore all these contextual relationships. In fact, it has contextual intelligence. It captures all these contextual topics in the context of gut health and then quantifies them and studies the structure of the relationship between gut health and all these other topics. So what you end up with is sort of this map of meaning that kind of looks like a solar system where gut health is the sun and you've got all these planets that are revolving around it. And what we're really doing at Motive Basis, studying the nature of these relationships. We're looking at how these words get used in the broader context of gut health, not just directly related to gut health, but in the broader context, and then quantify those relationships so that we can not only understand all the things that go on in people's minds, all the, all the implicit meanings that get associated with gut health, like the connection between gut health and toxins or stress or holistic living or wellness or the environment, but we can also map and measure the shifting or the moving nature of each of these topics in multidimensional space. It's kind of like saying, and I'm butchering physics here, it's kind of like saying we're studying how these planets are basically moving and changing in position over time. Uh, and sometimes a couple of planets will collapse onto one another and all of that is measurable. And when we measure all of that, we can run predictions and actually understand where a particular trend or culture or topic is headed. That's fundamentally what we do at Motive Base. That is based on the foundations of structural anthropology. We didn't create structural anthropology, of course. This is a field that has existed for a long time. All we've done is built upon it and brought it to life with our technology.